Good morning folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and in this video today we're going to learn how to configure addressing and VLANs and subnets into the Security Appliance MX on the Cisco Meraki dashboard. What we're going to go that sometimes you need to have different VLANs to segregate traffic between one resources or one group of clients to another group of clients or resources. So we're going to go through the dashboard, we're going to go to security and SD1 addressing and VLANs and we're going to configure three different VLANs the guest VLAN, the internal VLAN, and the server VLAN. We're gonna assign different VLAN IDs, and of course, we're gonna go through the ports and assign different VLAN IDs depending on if it's an access port or a trunk port. It's gonna be fairly easy and straightforward. So let's get into it. Today, we're going to configure addressing and VLANs and different subnets with the VLANs assigned. In order to do that, we're going to go to the security appliance in this network, go into security and SD1, addressing and VLANs. Here, as you can see as a default, you're going to have a flat network. It means that everything is going to be layer two. In this case, it's going to be 192.168.128 and it's going to be a single LAN. If you want to enable different VLANs, so you can configure in different subnets, you click here and you will see the option that is going to pop up and the ports configuration as well. So based on our requirements today, as you can see, we're going to configure three different VLANs. VLAN 1 is going to name internal, VLAN 2, which is going to be named guest, and VLAN 3 is going to be server. As well, we're going to configure three different ports. The port 2 is going to be an access port for allowing VLAN 3. The port 4 is going to be another access port allowing VLAN 1. And the port 5 is going to be a trunk needed VLAN 1 allowing port allowing VLAN just 1 and 2. So let's get right into it. The first one is adding the VLANs. We're going to add the internal VLAN with the respective subnet. We have to assign one IP address for the MAX, which is going to be the IP address as a default gateway for all the devices in the network in that subnet. We're going to do the same thing for the next one. So since there is one that is default, we can use that one as well. And we're going to name as guest. We're going to make the proper changes. And we're going to have the VLAN ID number two. The third one is going to be server, it's going to be the 3.0 slash 24, the max IP address in the same subnet, dot one, and VLAN 3. We can save the changes to later on continue with the ports. After we confirm that the changes are being saved, we're going to continue to configure the three ports based on our requirements today. Here, we're going to start with the port number two. We're going to change this port as an access port. And we're going to select VLAN 3. The next one is going to be port number four. We're going to change it from trunk to access. And VLAN is going to be VLAN 1. And lastly, port number five, we're going to leave it as a trunk. The native VLAN is going to be VLAN 1, and we're going to allow just two VLANs, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. After saving the changes, we're going to configure that everything is stayed there and saved. And that's how you configure addressing and VLANs in the Security Appliance MX in the dashboard. Right now, you can see that it's fairly easy and just going through the steps and you can have as many VLANs as you want and you can configure the ports depending on your requirements. If you find any steps that are missing or if you have any questions, just post your comments below. I'm more than happy to help you in this endeavor. If you have any requirements that are not covered here, I'm going to post down as well in the description all the documentation from the Cisco Meraki documentation portal just for your help. So that's how you configure the VLANs in the Cisco Meraki way. See you in the next one.